So I just watched a video that said birth control is now considered a class one carcinogen. Class one. Now, I don't know if some of y'all might or might not understand what that means. So I'm going to go into this video just thinking that you have been duped by some of these videos on social media, making these false claims about the significance of birth control being deemed a class one carcinogen. I'm going to choose not to think that you are purposely spreading sensationalized disinformation regarding this little tidbit. The video I'm getting, getting ready to add on here, I made in January of 2023. So this is nothing new. This video has received a lot of views. So it did its job, scaring everybody, scaring everybody to death. So I hope that you watch my video for some accurate information. Okay, I am sure many of you here have seen on social media accounts like this saying that hormonal birth control in the U.S. is a group one carcinogen. And many of you have asked me if this is true. The answer is yes, it is true. But let me explain. Now, there are two main organizations that determine whether something causes cancer or is a carcinogen. And those two agencies are the International Agency for Research on Cancer, the IARC, or the U.S. National Toxicology Program, or the NTP. The IARC is also part of the World Health Organization. When something is determined to be uh, a group one carcinogen by the IARC, that is because there is sufficient evidence of carcinogenicity in humans. Now, for the IARC, when it lists something as being a carcinogen, it simply means that there is a level of evidence that something can cause cancer, not how likely it is to cause cancer. For example, they have both processed meats and smoking as being a group uh, one carcinogens on the list as well, but that doesn't tell you how likely they are uh, to cause cancer. But we know that smoking is probably a lot more likely to cause cancer than eating processed meats. Another important thing to know is that even if a substance or exposure on this list is known or suspected to cause cancer, this does not necessarily mean that it can or should be avoided at all costs. And finally, these lists contain some commonly used medications like hormonal birth control. Now, if you go to the IARC and you look for the monographs specifically on combined estrogen, progesterone, contraceptives, and also combined estrogen, progesterone, menopausal therapy, this is what will come up. And you can actually download the entire monograph to find all the evidence that they have. And since we're talking specifically about hormonal birth control, we're going to talk about combined estrogen progestogen, progestogen contraceptives. Now, if you go to this monograph and you scroll down to their overall evaluation, they say that combined oral uh, hormonal contraceptives are carcinogenic to humans, group one. But they're talking about the increased risk associated with breast cancer for those who are taking uh, combined hormonal contraceptives, uh, combined oral hormonal contraceptives. But they also go on to say that there is also convincing evidence in humans that these agents can a protective effect against cancer of the endometrium and ovary, meaning that taking these same uh, contraceptive pills are also protective against having cancer of the endometrium and ovary. Dr. Jess left that part out, didn't she? Now, ACOC put out this uh, practice advisory, uh, hormonal contraception and the risk of breast cancer. And here are the key points. Pause to read. Now, what accounts like Dr. Jess do is they put out these salacious posts to scare people to death without offering any context, clarification, or education like I just did.